Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show how we can get all this data that's on our sheet and put it into a user form in the Visual Basic environment. So we have all this information just here, it's not a whole lot, but we're going to go on and show you how to build a user form. Go to your Developers tab and select Visual Basic. And in Visual Basic, we have some code here already just for the Verify button, but I'm going to close this out. And on the left, on the toolbar, I'm going to do Insert User Form user form a window comes up where we can draw our window and what your toolbox should be on towards the left and what we're going to do is select label and we're going to draw the label out and we're going to change this to name so I'm going to select properties put name and this is going to be under caption that, that I'm changing and I'm just going to resize it and you can just drag it to wherever you'd like and then to the right of that I'm going to put I want you to add a text box under your control select text box and just draw it on the form and what I'm going to do to do a little shortcut is I'm going to copy both and I did that by first clicking the name label holding down the control key and then selecting the text box and then doing control C and then control V to paste and I'm just gonna drag it back over here and here I'm gonna go on and put address I'm actually gonna need to move these boxes over and what you can do on these labels is you can set them to auto resize as true that way the label will take the size of the text. Let me do that again. There you go. I'm going to do the same thing for the next line. I'm going to copy this and paste. After address we have our city and I'm, I'm going to be changing the caption. Then we have our state. And I guess what we can do is we can put the zip code next to it on the same line. Copy in the text box. and all we're gonna do here is just pass the information into the user form you can change the name of the user form the, the caption of it by going to um, selecting the user form just select anywhere on the user form outside of the of the controls outside of the, the the text box or the labels and you'll have the user form properties make sure not to change the name because that we're gonna leave as user form one but you can change the the caption we'll just change it to your details now you are welcome to change the user form name if you'd like you could change this to detail form as long as it doesn't have any kind of special characters or spaces that's really all the, the ruling you have to go to um, abide by to rename a user form but this we're gonna leave as is now we have text box 1 text box 2 text box 3 text box 4 and text box 5 to keep your programming code organized and better understood, it would be helpful to rename your text boxes. In this case, we could change the name of the text box one to name box. I'm gonna leave the, the others as text two, three, four, and five, but get in the getting into that good habit of naming your your properties to whatever they're related to would be very helpful in, in your program and you'll, you'll see right now as we work on the coding. I'm going to close out the Visual Basic environment. I'm going to go back to my user form, well not my user form but my worksheet. I'm going to put this into design mode and I'm going to double click this verify button. Right now all the verify button is doing is just making sure that the user is inputting a name, address, city, state, and zip 
If for any reason they don't, it gives a little notification saying to enter in the data and then, then it'll, it'll exit the sub. But I'm gonna scroll all the way down. I'm gonna get rid of this message box. And what I'm gonna do is do user form one dot name box, which is the name of the text box, dot text is equal to, and I'm gonna put the name. The name is a variable I have set up here, which is the range C3 in sheet one, which would be the name. So I'm actually gonna copy this and put it down here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert these as comments. So I'm gonna do a single quote and it makes it a comment. It's not executable code. And so it's just there for our reference. So the next thing I'm gonna do is user form one dot, and we had, we said text box two was the address. And then we have text box three, four, and five. So just copy and paste to have as a shortcut and just change the number out for two, three, four, two, three, four, and five. We have the address, city, state, and zip. One last thing we need to do. This is only setting the properties of the, of the text boxes. Now we need to show the user form because do, this code alone doesn't do anything. We have to do user form one dot show in order to make the form visible to the user. So I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna go on and just delete the zip code for now. I'm gonna click verify. Well, take us out of design mode. I'm gonna hit verify. Please enter in a zip. So our if statements are still working. I'm gonna put in a zip code. I'm gonna click verify. And then now the user form pops up with all of the fields that are on sheet one. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.